Welcome to Inline Floor. I'm Brandon Basio, the Director of Operations here, and today we're going to perform an iTune, uh, what I like to call as intelligent tuning. We're going to tune this vehicle, and we're going to see what kind of power we can extract from it. Four, three. So it's not your typical dial tune, it's not your typical 60 minute tune either. We continuously tune the vehicle until we can extract the, the most power that we can out of it, reliably, and I like to call it as usable horsepower. Um, with iTune, um, we will take into consideration the drivability, um, not just peak horsepower, but what we call is power under the curve. We take into consideration good air fuel tuning, the torque, and of course your power band. At the same time, Inline 4 can provide you with parts on hand. Um, if there's a problem that we run into, at the time we'll be able to assess the situation, pull the car the dyno, fix the vehicle, put it back on, and continue on with our tune and add any additional parts that needed. So, Alien 4 is probably one of the only shops west of the Mississippi that can provide you with intelligent tuning and parts on hand. So, let's get started. Um, this motor here is for Cabela Works, motor of um, Cabela as a company in this is showcasing the vehicle. It's a turbo motor, non VTEC, as a matter of fact, V18A, it's been bored to 84 millimeters, and it's going to make some serious horsepower. It's very detrimental to have a proper break in for a motor because that's the break it until the life of the motor. And uh, in this case, Torco makes a TBO brake motor. And what we're going to do is we're going to train what he has in right now, which he has started off with a uh, non detergent beat. Is that what it was? Yes. All right, non detergent oil beat got in here. We're going to drain it out and fill it with some turbo Torco. And we're going to go through a cycle of different RPM variations, 2500, 3, 2 up to 45. And we'll have a, a set time in the dyno where we'll put different load situations on it. And that will simulate like city driving, getting a nice break in around the, around the rings. And these types of motors, uh, especially when it's turbo, high horsepower, um, appearances are set up specifically for the type of usage in this case. This motor is actually built to be a, a drag motor. Very serious horsepower, very expensive build. There's a lot of care that needs to be taken in going into a motor like this. Frequent oil changes and spark plug changes are a way of life when you have a motor like this. And for our spark plugs, we recommend engine game spark plugs, copper, non platinum, non iridium. In this case, this is the temperature 9. We will try a 9 and 8 for a turbo car and see what works best for this vehicle. For the oil, Torco SR5. And the SR5 has uh, very good characteristics and it doesn't break down like most conventional oils. You can use SR5 in a daily driven vehicle as well as a race motor. And the SR5 is obviously designed for um, racing vehicles, it's not a passenger car oil. But the properties that it entails allows you to use it in a passenger car and still get a lot of mileage out of it. Um, on the average, you can use the SR5 and go let's say about 10,000 miles, change of filter. Um, top off and change oil again at 15,000 and you'd be okay. Um, there's been tests where we've changed oil at 24,000 miles and still been good. It hasn't even dropped the viscosity. The reason why we uh, use copper plugs, and a lot of you may be wondering why copper is in iridium the craze, isn't that the best kind of use. Um, all Honda vehicles today come with iridium plugs from the factory, or I should say 90% of them. Um, Plug. Obviously, it costs a lot more than a copper plug. Um, the electrode on the iridium plug you know, is very tiny. You cannot gap them because uh, sometimes they'll break. Um, iridium plugs are great for factory, stock vehicles, your grocery getter, mom's car, you know, point A to point B car. The iridium plugs are actually rated for about 100,000 100, miles. Uh, that's the recommended interval to change them. Um, copper plugs on the other hand, um, they will foul out a lot quicker. Um, if you change them more often, you know, the fact that you know, they don't cost as much, and you'll always have a fresh set of plugs. So on a motor like this, um, the radium plug can go through what's called tip degradation, where the spark plug tip can either A, break off from extreme amounts of high compression or um, extreme amounts of heat, and that's something that's very common in motors such as this. Utilizing the copper plug, you will not have that issue. Um, they come with a gap, but you will feel free to you know, experiment more with different gaps, knowing that you only pay $100 for the set versus, you know, $60, $70, $80.
I also wanted to mention that uh, this car was towed here. Um, when you build a motor like this, this caliber, nine out of ten times you're not going to have the proper ECU program, the mapping for this type of a build. Um, and you want to make sure that it's correct. You don't want to just get on it with the wrong tune and you could hurt something. So you tow it up here, and you know when you do that, it goes straight on the, straight to the dyno. And he had his little startup, make sure the fan turns on, all the little diagnostics, checks, make sure that's okay. You know, maybe take a little spin around the block, make sure everything's all right. But other than that, we shut it down and tow it right over to us. Um, so that's what you want to do, even in a high compression environment. Um, it's, it's good practice.